Welcome to episode 10 of Turn The Lights Out podcast. This is our very first film podcast. Um, so episode one, live from the heist in Swansea, with myself, Dave Owen, and my co-host, James Lights Out Lily. With us today, two very special guests. We have one of the top welterweight MMA fighters in the country at the moment, Mr. Lou Long. And with him, one of the most active MCs in the country also, Mr. MC Ricky Wright. How are you well, doing, guys? Well, well, yeah, good, man. Good. Thanks for coming on. Yeah. Appreciate you coming on. Um, <clears throat> like I said, you're one of the, the top uh, welterweight fighters in the country, active all the time. Um, what people might not know is, obviously, Ricky is an active MC, but you were too... You two, you two are very good friends. Well. <laughs> <laughs> friends. We, we always <laughs> know each yeah. other a while, yeah. So, um... In turbulent history. Yeah, oh, explain, yeah, explain to us how you know each other and... and well, a couple of years ago, I used to drink in a pub called The Molsters on a Thursday night. I was 16 and you were allowed to drink underage back then. And no one I think it was allowed. <laughs> but no, no, but they didn't give a shit. Uh, you know what I mean? Was it ten, ten oh, four pints? So like four pints for ten. Hold on, like a couple of years ago. Oh, uh, I'm thirty one now, but <laughs> so uh, baby face. Yeah. We used to, we used to go. To, I used to go to this place, and uh, there used to be a snob bed. Um, this where so this guy used to walk around with his long leather trench coat, big new rock boots, long A and I think. I mean, he's a cool guy. Right, he, I thought he's, he looks a bit weird. Like, never mind. I, I knew him, but I didn't know him. I used to chat up his missus on MSN. Um, <laughs> we going back now. Bebo in there, like. Bebo, uh, yeah. Right, but, uh, right. well, you know, I was just like, we didn't really know each other back then, but then one day I was training and Lewis showed up and we rolled together. And, um, well, I... Told you, here it goes. Cut, well, Told you. <laughs> what it was. What it was. He's a judo guy, so he kept getting his back, so I was choking him out and he was tapping out. And then it was the last time I ever choked him out or tapped him out <laughs> because he learned that day not to give his back up. And then that's it. And then that same weekend, then we went up to the, we went up to um, Nottingham. For enter the rough house. Enter the rough house to watch Cage Warriors together. Someone pulled the gun. Yeah, it was a big gunfight in the car park and everything. <laughs> People pepper spraying each other. Yeah, but it was bonkers. Cool. Big high but profile cool. names as well, like big like. One of them was like massive. I'm not gonna say who because they probably saw us. Well, I am. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it was it was all kicking off in the car park. Me and him, we were up at a corner and a guy called. Lola Bamagabala, who's massive, like Nigerian guy, awesome fighter. Couldn't even know the pads for him because he, like, he used to kick so hard. Mm-hmm. He was hard. But it's funny because, like, few, only later when we met, knew each other quite well, we realised we were both in the Masters drinking underage. Yeah. Um, together. Because so. if I was there when I was 16 drinking underage, and I'm like three years older than Lou, he was 13 and there drinking underage. Probably <laughs> looked older than me. Anyway, because he had a beer then, probably. Yeah, he did. And long hair. And long hair. I still can't go chest. So in. 30, <laughs> mate, 30, 14, mate. I was on karaoke in the pub at 14, like, you know. They were the days, man. Yeah, I was cooling on karaoke where, back in the Where you bought for Pont and Preeth or, or Ronda? Or? From a Ronda, like, yeah, past us. Going on the Pont, was a big deal for me, like, you know what I mean? Start him around young up there. Oh, that? Was, that me young up the pubs then, isn't it? Oh, yeah, these days, it's like IDs and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just don't know how they do it, like, the kids just go and has the car park and just sit there with each other with all the cars lined up against each other, like, listening to the music. Hey, go to a pub, boys. <laughs> <laughs> they will show me. Drink, yeah. drive, man. <laughs> oh, God, that's what you said, the message. <laughs> uh, that's like two years ago today. Or like last week. He's got his license back, yet. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so those are the humble beginnings for you both? Yeah. He didn't tap me out. He didn't did, tap me out. Did you tap him out? I did, yeah. No, he didn't tap me out. The last time I, I tapped him out, I admit that. One time, we were on S4C. Because uh, Ricky was the last talker, and the next thing you know, he just decides to be flashy. A guy look away, nails me with the right hand, drops him. And <laughs> 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 does it jump in scissor thing though? Look his head. Oh, I suplexed it a bit. That's how we went there. Yeah. That's how we went, is it? It's like a, I only do well when we're on camera, like you know. Oh, I only turn up, you know. It was like S O C. We're filming a documentary called Cuff Your Cowards, which is Welsh for cage fighting. It was like a free part like documentary and he did a bit on me and this is like I'd only been training with Lewis about a couple of months at that point and uh, 
I hit him with an all-around right. You so shocked I landed on him. <laughs> yeah. Just ah. So, uh, so I, I dumped him in, and then I was on camera, and I was. I wish I had that somewhere. So you had the first MMA fight with you too. Oh, uh, Lou. I used to manage him. <laughs> right, right management, wasn't it? Right, fight management. I thought that was good. <laughs> yeah, it was I good. That was good. I, I, yeah, I used to. I maintenance in the end, wasn't he? Oh, so I got him sponsors. I gave me more sponsors. Gave me more kit. Gave me more money. I want money. Gave me more shows. I want to fight. I, like, I did, and then it was, like, <laughs> was enough. So he was officially lose manager. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah all his amateur career. He, he posts up as MMA alien in the old school, like uh, yeah, on the cage warriors forums. Uh, yeah. And you should put up was it your roster, right management underneath. Yeah, it was like Lewis Long, Craig Allen, Liam Bennett. Like, <laughs> I mentioned his name on us. All the top <laughs> fighters. <laughs> all the top fighters in Wales, you know. But uh, yeah, it was good times managing Lou because his entire amateur career on uh, fighting on Mike Swambo's AFL, uh, amateur fight league, and I. It was good, good times. Nice. Like, bought some, bought some guys. Yeah, is that what you do? At light, light that we gotta do. Light heavyweight. Fight, fight some guys. <laughs> what do you do? Like to fight some guys. He, he, he's <laughs> fighting at light heavyweight and middleweight, and I uh, like fighting all these men. He was only about twenty at the time, and I uh, all these big giant men, and I uh, knocking him out. Good times, man. What What was your amateur right then? Like five and one. Oh, you didn't have. Uh, no, I thought like you going to Thai boxing and stuff as well, and going to judo comps and kickboxing comps. But I got stick swampo. Somebody mm. voice in his name set me up so many times yeah. and like Ricky's like don't do it Luke. don't do it yeah I've got to do it yeah I've got to do it what so one time yeah let's go so one time uh, Swambo uh, have you ever heard of Mike Swambo no I was just going to say oh, who's Swambo, Swambo. 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 Right. the saying you've been Swambo oh, one. one two three you know when you've been Swambo <laughs> <laughs> you know he's just, bad, like. he's just coach from back in the day uh, very good coach actually very technical broke things down but he used to lie and he used to go oh, I've had like 60 Muay Thai fights undefeated um, I've had veteran cage fights undefeated and all that. I'm thinking hang on a second mate sports not old enough to have veteran cage fights <laughs> what are you on about but like people have told us this like for months and then yeah. one day because he, he opened a gym close to us we, we thought let's go down in and, and he, everything he'd said to all his people the, the people repeated to us he told us and I was like I was like, ah, oh, <laughs> you know. So he, he put Lewis on um, a couple of the cards. Lewis was, you know, tearing, the, you know, smashing people up, selling tickets. And uh, he said, oh, yeah, I want Lewis in a, in a middleweight eliminator. He's like, oh, cool, Lou. You win this, you fight for the middleweight title. And he's like, oh, great, cool. <laughs> so <laughs> that's exactly how he reacted. Like, you know, like, <laughs> so, like, we rock up. I, first of all, he gives us this name of his fight. I can't remember this guy's name, but looked everywhere, couldn't have nothing on this guy whatsoever. It was like he was a ghost, you know what I mean? So we, we show up at the venue and Swambo says, Oh, Lou, your, your opponent hasn't shown up. And we're like. So Ricky was also my corner man as well. Oh, yeah, I was also a corner man. <laughs> so, so like, was he getting paid twice? Or? <laughs> no, I didn't do it. I just did it for just to be next to him, you know. <laughs> We did it for the night out, didn't we? Yeah, I did it for the night. I was just riding his bandwagon, to be honest. I knew he was going to be a big star. I wouldn't like it. You, you, you know. But like, so like, we, we're in the change room now, and he said to Lou, oh, your, your opponent hasn't shown up. Um, so we're in the house, in the change rooms. Lou was like, oh, fuck, I'm pissed off. Ooh, my opponent hasn't shown up. And we stood ne next to a group of guys from Swambo's gym, and they're like, they're looking at us like really confused. And Lou was like, you know, I was like, this one guy, Nick McFadden, liked the heavyweight fight that was like looking like, he felt a bit shifty, you know? So I knew I'm fighting you. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, yeah, it's like, I thought Wait, we were me. fighting. And we were like, no. Nah. I, I, we, Lou was fighting this guy. It's like, no. I was like, okay, okay. I was like, so I'm because they are. Oh, guess what? Your opponent has shown up. Neither has. Nick McFadden's opponent showing up. You're gonna have to fight. You could fight each other if you want. And they were looking up at Nick McFadden, you know, six foot two of like unlicensed boxing badass. I'm like, oh, Lou, man, we've been stitched up. Like, let's just grab our shit and go. He's like, no, I'm gonna fight him. Like, what? I'm gonna fight him. It's like, 
Lou, we didn't even see him weigh in. No way is he making middleweight on the same day. No way in hell. He knows, and don't get me wrong, Nick McFadden is a lovely guy. I talk to him a lot. He's a great guy. But he didn't know what was going on. Swambo was the only person who knew what was going on. So the next thing you know, Lou, Lou was like, oh, I'm going to fight him, I'm going to fight him. And I'm like, oh. I'm like, Lou's going to be knocked <laughs> out now because this guy was a man. Lou was still sort of like a boy at the time. Just see my hair. Just see, yeah. So like, Lovely first lady. round, me and who's cornerman. Like, oh, Lou's Lou, Lou, Lou winning this. <laughs> Open my eyes, he's winning. <laughs> he's not going to get knocked out. So like, second round then, it was like, they start tussling again. Lou knocks him out cold against the cage door. He is unconscious. And it was the best feeling ever. Like, no offense to Nick, I love Nick. He's a great guy. But opening that cage door and stepping over his lifeless body, <laughs> lifting Lewis in the air. Yeah, he's cool. And Lewis is like this, and there's a photo of me and uh, my tap out shirt and everything. And it was the best feeling ever. And because um, we, you know, we've been swambled, good and proper, but we swambled swambo. <laughs> <laughs> so Double swambo. Yeah. So uh, that Go was one of the, my favorite <coughs> memories of uh, of Lou. Because, um, memories. 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 Oh, sorry. <laughs> that was a great, that was a great day. Uh, uh, you know, he, he, he popped the stitch and stuff. Each other. Yeah, managed him. You touched on it a bit there. Like, that's what MMA used to be like, didn't it? In the old days, like, used to be like a dirty little secret. No one. We got, we got called. I was like, yeah, when they all fight on that show, K1, he was MCing, and he left his mic on. <laughs> So you shouting over the mic, you know. Go on, Lou! Mash him up, Lou! All over the arena. Still have my mic on, yeah. That was, that was great. Right. That was the first ever shot, I know, yeah. yeah. So that's how you two yeah, met yeah. a couple of years ago. After the break, <clears throat> we're going to look at Ricky's fighting career and we'll also look at, we'll also look at Lou's beginnings, which we've just touched on. So we'll be back in full. back guys to part two we'll jump straight back in um so everyone knows about you and your fighting career lou not many people know about you reckon you had like a couple of fights on the side call that a career <laughs> <laughs> um yeah I, i've always been a internet kind of guy around the scene years before i was even fought uh, even started ring announcing and um you know i i never once you know aaron wilkinson was in a tough house out in the fight there you, you, he said, I said something on Cage Warriors forum about like MMA. Um, and he said, oh, what do you know? you never fought before. So I was like, all right, then I'll have a fight. <laughs> and that, that was easy. That was what I was about. What was like, your first one when I was in the opposite corner? No, you were in my corner, my the first, first one. one. Yeah. Was, I not, was I in the opposite one for the other? No, no, you always in my, you, you didn't come to my second fight. Really? No, I was like, having a break view or... I had a good corner to the first fight. I had Lewis Long, we Richard have. Shaw, and Chris Reese all in my corner. Like, you, that's, that's like two UFC corner men and, and, and Lou. Not bad. Two no UFC, like, yeah, you dig up, stupid. <laughs> dig up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was, it was good. I had, I had two fights, record one win, <coughs> one draw. Uh, both pretty much wars, like, guy. Um, they? they were, they were wars. Pretty much legendary fights. Legendary fight. You've got oh, a fun fight them, People right? still talk about him. People still talk. They sing songs about it. Sing songs about it. Look about to me, right? People come up to me and sing. People come up to me and sing. Sing tales of Ricky's war with the king. No, all they say to me is, all they say to me is, did you really try and do a flying leg scissor sweep? And yes, you did. <laughs> did you? Yeah, well, it looked like a missile drop kick in the ankles. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I can see like, side on. <laughs> it was like, it was embarrassing to be honest, but... Uh, <coughs> Uh, you got that on video view for us. He had, he had a lovely yeah, yeah. black eye. He was amazing. Both fights, I, I got hit with the first punch in both fights and uh, just swelled up straight away. I've seen a video of you fighting. I don't know whether it was like an in gym fight or oh, right. club, yeah. Yeah. That, that, Is that one of them? Or, or no, no, I've no, seen no, that one. I've had like four Thai box into clubs. Which isn't like, it's like a glorified sparring. Yeah. And you get a trophy. It's cool. 
Um, no decision. <laughs> no decision. No <laughs> winner, no loser. But like basically, yeah, white yeah, collar boxer. Years, like. No, it's, it's <laughs> like I never like. He's less cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Luke shot me. Luke shot me like do the Ricky special. Do the Ricky special. So I. No, no, that's not Ricky special. It was. I f- no, no, I fake. That's oh. the last the overhand Ricky. How many specials you got? <laughs> no, I got no specials. <laughs> so it's like I'm just hitting buttons. Like, Do the special. <laughs> it's like throw a sloppy, sloppy leg kick, and then throw another sloppy leg kick. So they defend. And then when the leg is up defending, kick the back leg and put him on their ass. Oh. You said that. Do Ricky special. So I did then, and that the guy kicked me. Saw the Ricky special. Came right that's on my ass. A totally different name. What's that? I can't say the name right. Okay, okay, it's probably racist. That's one, one way down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> what would be? It's what would you be. say was your fighting base? Um, nothing really. <laughs> just, just what these should be called in style? Yeah. Trouble shuffle. Shuffle shuffle. Yeah. <laughs> independent thought, fighters, eh? No, they should be called they on the old MMA shows. Yeah. So they get people off the street and then independent <laughs> fighter. <laughs> oh, they fought. I, the guys, they fought. They trained just as hard as me in. in in re- good gyms, I think, sort of. Mm. Andy trained one guy, yeah. and Andy was like your coach, right? Yeah. And then, uh, but they, they were fought. they were legit fights, weren't they? they, they yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, they took so days. Like, don't get me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> don't get me wrong. They weren't they weren't like they were like gonna be superstars, but I didn't want to fight anyone that was gonna be a walkover either. Like I could have easily come on Swansea and fought the cream of the crop down here, you know. What I mean? <laughs> Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. James, James loves you, right? really. Yeah, <coughs> go way back as well, reckon me. Yeah, you, you know, that's what we used to be. Oi, who's your okay? James is our okay. <laughs> so, you yeah. said you had one win and one draw. Yeah, undefeated. That's that. That's, you can't argue that, really, can you? Undefeated record, so. Yeah, it was alright. Both that decisions. Like, I, see, I see a picture of you with Cage Warriors gloves on. Oh, yeah. Did you oh, yeah. borrow those gloves? How'd you get them, right? How'd you get them, son? Stole my flute, didn't I? No. Nah. He and Dean said I could have them. <laughs> How many pairs? Well, you had one pair. You had the rest. What did you like him for? <laughs> it was like, it was in... in was I it? wasn't even there. He was there. Did you drop? You were there. Birmingham was when I emceed my first cage warriors back, like, five years ago. You were there. Mm-hmm. You were there. Mm-hmm. You were there. <laughs> didn't tell him this is you were there, but you were there. I'm going to die, is it? Nah. I just wanted to clarify. It wasn't on a cage or he's on the card right No, no. I wish. <laughs> Fair enough. I bought them. An undefeated. He bought. <laughs> <laughs> Again, dig up, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> he's gone from the air. No, you nicked them. To, yeah, I bought them. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Ian did give them to me at a cage or show. I'll ask him. Good, you can ask him. I didn't get paid for that show either. <laughs> Before the boiling That's era, mind. Huh? That was before the boiling era. That was. I, had a, I just enjoyed the experience, to be honest. Nicky. <laughs> I've never stole. Oh, the only thing I've ever stole, right, is a pack of fruit pastels when I was like six. And I never stole anything since. Maybe the odd, like, ruler from school. What do you think, Emmerick? <laughs> Someone didn't look like you. Oh, right. I'd be like my hero with big yellow gloves. That was, that was before you fought on Cage Warriors. Yeah. Right, why you, you've touched on that. Obviously you fought on Cage Warriors, fought all around the world. For people who don't know, uh, explain how you got started in, in MMA. Like Ricky touched on it, I've yeah. got the judo oh, base. I started with judo, but that was just when I was a chunky kid. And my mum said, stop me playing Pokemon. I'm drinking cans of Dr Pepper. The monsters. Was it was yeah. <laughs> no, no, I was ten. Just a bit, just a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit too soft. And uh, yeah, forced me into the dojo. I mean, with Beanie. And uh, yeah, progressed through there from like Thai boxing, kickboxing, and stuff. And then uh, it was at Dan Wilson's boxing gym. And one day he said, "God, oh, if you do a bit of everything, I'll down with some cage fighters training tomorrow." Like um, me. Yeah. That's, must have been a loose term. <laughs> <laughs> and now, yeah, met Ricky where he supposedly tapped me out and then was invited to a show that Saturday up in Nottingham and went up there and, like, met, like now who I know who crazy, you know, from bigger stars there. Yeah, it was like, like Dan Hardy, Jim Wallet. Yeah, Dan Hardy, it was a kid, right? It was Dan Hardy and Andre Winner and Jim Wallet all fought on in, they all 
end up in the UFC and I was, we're just running around like idiots yeah we were running around like idiots didn't we have didn't, didn't we have like a, <coughs> a bottle of vodka in the car on the way up you drive it I was, yeah, but didn't you and Denzel have yeah. <laughs> a bottle of vodka in the car? We were, we were hammered, well, you were hammered before, yeah, I was, you know, yeah, I was serious, I was, you know, I wore my Osprey shirt because I know the Lesser Tigers were, like, special guests and, like, Ospreys beat him in, like, the cup two weeks earlier. Let's not talk about Ospreys, but... Well, we're swans, yes, what they no, do. No, we can't talk about them. Why not? No, why? Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, why, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? I, I don't know why. Why? Why? <laughs> this is going up on Swansea TV. Like, so no, no, I'm not, not bringing it up. up now. Not bringing it up. If you want to message me again, you can. <laughs> what the Ospreys messaged you? It's unfortunate for them. I am a professional fighter, not just a buddy in the group. <laughs> <laughs> right. Some of so them are my heroes. I can't believe you beat my <coughs> heroes up. I didn't do anything. They start. Oh, there we go. There we go. We've, I didn't do anything. <laughs> we beat anyone. Up. That's my team, man. With the Ospreys? Yeah. I thought he was more Cardiff. Uh, Bit of a no, tangent no, no. there, anyway. Ponty and Before you fell in, it's Fonzie. Smiles yeah. well. Yeah, but I'll never be a Blue. I'm a Ponty fan, isn't I, you know? The Pont- Blues are our biggest, Cardiff are our biggest rivals before they won the region, so. Ooh. I'm just put- The Ospreys? No, no, Swansea. Oh, right. No, no, Cardiff. <laughs> Cardiff. <laughs> I don't much want to talk about rugby. Let's not talk about rugby. Right. What's the yeah. next question? <laughs> yeah, right. So. You went down judo. Yeah, went to know. fight with mixed martial artists like Ricky. First fight I remember. Yeah, um, <laughs> I remember ringing me like two two weeks before. I said, oh, "I just uh, do you want to fight uh, in two weeks." Yeah, go on then. And that's how we went. How long had you been training for before your first fight? Not long, was it? No, a few weeks. Few yeah, weeks. Course. Yeah. But you already had a judo base. Yeah, like I said, didn't like type boxing and. Um, I used, to, like, I used to fight Thai boxing on a Friday night, do judo comp on Saturday, mm-hmm. just, 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 yeah, just try to fight as much as possible. So you, in, you enjoy fighting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just it was an like automatic happening for you? Yeah, so anything I could do or compete in, I would, to best my skills. And um, as I said, I could like judo and kickboxing, yeah, start doing a bit of grappling. It was only sort of natural progression. It was only a matter of time before I'd done it. It just happened to be, so I just want to fight the next weekend. Yeah, yeah, go on then. Why not do it? And that was when he was going to new one early on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember Swambo phoned me, yeah, and he's like, "Oh yeah, got Lewis opponent. His name is Neil Shorter. It's like yeah. shorter versus long." <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it was my first fight, long versus shorter. It's like, wow, I could see. Couldn't have made a better fight. How did how did that finish? Guillotine, I think, first round. One. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was a silly question. <laughs> <coughs> so how oh, dare you? <laughs> you said you had six. Six amateur fights. Yeah. Um, how did the beginning of your career go? Pro pro career. All right. We researched it. If you need any help, it's all right. I got dropped bad by uh, Josh Dennis. Josh Dennis. Oh, he's uh, he's, he's a whole lot. Yeah, 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 he yeah, yeah, fights on the budo show. Yeah, he's amazing. Lovely lad. I beat him in sixty six seconds, but he's still. Yeah, I mean, he's he's who? Bang! Yeah, he's a bang as well, Josh. He's that's the worst you've ever been dropped in hey. fights. He hit me. I thought, I take, I take it now, well. I was on my knees. <laughs> <laughs> Claps like an accordion, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, oh, I thought, I took that well. That was down on my knees. I think he's like, when we were matching up. to finish me, the double leg, they were guillotined them. We were matching up with uh, Josh. Josh was like 0 oh, 6, so it was like, oh. Ken Lewis, bring, bring him up, build him up nice and slow, get him against someone like Josh, and then Josh spot, well, almost knocked you out in the first 10 seconds. Like, yeah. yeah, Josh, a couple of fights where he's dropped people, and you know, he hasn't got much of a ground game, but he used to be, you know, decent amateur boxer. Did you corner him against one of the Sinclair brothers up in Birmingham? He fought like either yeah, Nick or Rob Sinclair. Yeah, and the corner, the um, uh, legend Lomas. With Sean Lomas, yeah. He's <laughs> Wallet. <laughs> like, I think he's done a bit of judo, yeah? Judo Jimmy Wallet. <laughs> what gives you that Talking <laughs> so of, of Jimmy Wallet, I know you've spoken about him before yeah. in previous interviews, so we're just going to go to a, another break, and after the break, we'll, we'll come back and we'll go into later on in your career, up into the present day, and your quest for for the UFC call up, the Holy Grail. So we'll be back after this.
Welcome back. Um, just before the break, we spoke about Lou's early career, and now we'll get into uh, more present day. So Lou, I'm um, currently been fighting on Cage Warriors. Um, with your last fight lasting only 18 seconds, um, could that be seen as a good or bad thing? Because on one hand, obviously you've got the win against Shane Mills, who's, who's a fairly big name, people know who he is. But on the other hand, you didn't get to show what you could do, for which we'll get into after, is for the UFC to see. So what, how do you see that 18 second win? <laughs> <coughs> Eighteen seconds, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Ask your mum. <laughs> right. fight, right? Sorry, Joyce. Sorry, Joyce. <laughs> <laughs> she made her dinner once. Yeah. <coughs> I'll have to. A breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I mean... I was bad. <laughs> Wait, she'll rip your head off, you know what? Hello, sorry, Ben. <laughs> Love you, Ben. No, you mean, you could look at it like that. I was robbed of a win. But, I mean, I robbed of a looking good in the ring. Yeah. yeah, I mean, but my whole attitude within the camp and maturity um, was was on point. I mean, I don't think I've ever felt that good backstage. Normally, I'm just just crazy. Just absolutely have to jump around singing. And, but this time, cool, clam, cool, clam, collected. But um, when I was in there, I felt like calm and alert. And that's probably the best thing you need, not just that crazy fool want to run around, get hit and throw shots back. So, yeah, it was a fight that was going to make me look good. But it's a win. You know, it's, it's down. At least it's a bit of controver- controversy about it all. So at least that does hype it up. Yeah. Um, For people who don't know what happened. Yeah. Um, Correct w- me if w- I'm wrong. WWE spear attack. <laughs> yeah, remember double leg uh, takes out. Go! 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 Right. Charge went for a double leg. Yeah. And, and did he blow his knee out? Uh, I don't know he was tapping before he went down when we watched the video. Yeah, yeah. I, again, I don't see why I didn't go with my record as a tap. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, I was thinking of an injury, but, but, you know, whatever. I saw him walk around the other day, so, you know, I'm not saying anything. Whatever, That's the thing that you, you know, you we all want to be involved in like wars. We've spoken about this before, but then to have an easy night as well, you know, it might not. It said you learn something from it from being yeah. a cool, calm practice. That's the main thing. But we all do want to have a scrap as well. That, that's it. Then you, you, you mentally prepare yourself for so much more. Don't you? you go in there thinking, "Let's have it." Let's have it. <laughs> we have a dust up here. Any, you know, your life changes every time you step into the ring or cage. Anything could happen. You know, that's that's, that's the truth. Um, it was a bit deflating, but um, you know, again, another win, 18 seconds, another first round. Both sides, so, it was class. Yeah, yeah, yeah that got you a lot of exposure. You know, to that, I, I say, I like talking crap, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? No way. No? You can say nothing, uh, mate. You can right. say nothing. I part part one. Part one. Part one. Yeah. I have a hide from like the swam book and the rest of my life. <laughs> <now>. <laughs> He's run away anyway. Where's it gone? I don't know, people kept turning up taking his mats away. Like, <laughs> <laughs> people were trying to take mats away from anyway. Yeah. Right. So, like we said, you, you beat Shane Mills mm. in 18 seconds. Um, it was supposed to be a stage for you to show your abilities mm. to the UFC because you're probably the best fighter, Welsh, well, you are the best Welsh fighter currently not signed the UFC. Yeah. Why? We don't know. They've they've signed Brett Johns, Jack Marshman, John Phillips, and that's it. That's it. Unless yeah. you've got more dirt that we don't know. Yeah, what's your yeah, name? Don't drop that bomb. Yeah. 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 <laughs> See you next week. Josh Dennis, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, th- hey, who's going to fight Charlie Ward? That's right, yeah, they need someone to fight Charlie Ward after all. So, They've all been signed up. John has gone, has had to go down a similar route to what yeah. you you've now been going down in terms of um, campaigning to be signed up. Yeah. Which we've talked about it before in previous episodes that you shouldn't fighters of your caliber, same with John, shouldn't be 
campaign, then yeah. um, your your record should speak for itself, really. So where do you stand on that? I mean, I think like with UFC, there's so many fighters worldwide that are begging for an opportunity. That you know, the saying a quiet man gets left at sea, and I think that's what it is. You've got to make some noise, and you've got to rattle the cage. Um, so just trying to show my personality on 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 Twitter and Facebook and stuff, and in interviews. I try and come across as you know how I am, and you know people seem to enjoy it really. Yeah, because yeah. we we've mentioned before this the way you dress, the way you act. That you, What's you, the matter with the way I dress? <laughs> no. I sew I sew these buttons on myself. <laughs> My mum showed me the first one. <laughs> right? But you you you're different, which is yeah. is good. Which is good in in the fight game. I just think I would fight this. Event. I think it's so serious. It's so much is gonna happen that if I'm about to, I'm enjoying it then. That's what it's got to be, because anything can change. And I, if, if, you know, one fight you can be there and up on top of the world, and then one fight you can be, you know, oh, a thing. So yeah, I forgot. So I mean, I'll enjoy it while it's there, and uh, you know, enjoy it. Well, yeah, always enjoy it. But uh, in terms of your, your current run, you correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's eight wins out in the last nine. nine yeah. Nine out of ten. Yeah. Nine out of ten. So that does it. He knows better than me. I already know because you tweeted about it. <laughs> I think, uh, <laughs> so, I think it's like eight wins in my last nine fights. Yeah, six I mean, first round, two yeah, second round. That's right. They haven't gone past second round, really. No, no. Only, only, only two gone to second. I what watched. Stoppages. I was there for that one defeat against Stahl mm. on Cage Warriors. Yeah, yeah. What did they, they say that you could learn? You you learn more from a defeat than you do, and and that was a step up in Stahl and Andre Stahl yeah, previously yeah, yeah. been in the UFC, so. What did you take? Did you take a lot from that, or? Well, yeah, I mean, don't fight full of antibiotics, probably. You were, you were really going into that. <laughs> he took his drip out just to fight. Really? <laughs> well, tell us, tell us. <laughs> I had what's called osteomyelitis. I was in hospital for like six weeks, start of the year, and then I was given this opportunity. I was determined I was going to do it. I was determined I was going to beat them. You know, it's like fighter mentality. Osteomyelitis is a bone infection. Right. right. Hey. Oh, infection. <laughs> <laughs> if I got it, your mum's got it. <laughs> Sorry. You guys. told me it was your grind. <laughs> so it was my grind. Okay. Bone infection. <laughs> but yeah, you know, um, yeah, and obviously, the, oh, the loss is always hard to take, especially when things are going so well. But um, they happen for a reason. Like, but you know, you know, much better fight than now. So much more mature, anyway. Actually, listen to people. Yeah. So I like your shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's uh they they never believe I'd be fighting again for a couple of years, but you told me you took the fight when you were in a hospital bed when I came to visit you. Yeah. You'd, which was a quite a good day for me because you, you just bought yourself like a, a two foot uh, a two meter long phone charger and I was like wow. Oh yeah, well, I never that's really a game changer. I could like stick it in the wall and lie in bed, not like being like hanging over <laughs> the bed like, like I went up the golf course. Where'd you get them from? Asda, they. Asda, is it? Yeah, they two meter long chargers. You can, you can. Asda, like. Yeah, go for it. It's awesome. Other supermarkets have them available. Should we name them all? Yeah, Waitrose. <laughs> Waitrose. Oh, oh he's going up in the world. He's going up in the world. In Iceland, mate. Oh, oh in Iceland, you can get. No like fish fingers, do. Fingers. No, no. I think that's a UFC call, that. <laughs> All I'm saying is, <laughs> yeah. they've seen us. They've got John the phone, have they? <laughs> <laughs> Wrong number. What do you want to Talking of that, what did you make of that um, campaign? That campaign yeah. well, I, thought, I thought the phone thing was excellent. Uh, really, as I said, like you see the way I am online, I, no bitterness or anything, I just have a laugh. I like to dig at people and see what their reaction is, and then just go, ha ha ha, got a bite. And uh, uh, yeah, the, the phone thing I thought was really clever. And, like, was he putting it inside Teddy pickup machines? Yeah. And stuff like that. I thought that was awesome. He says to the guy, I couldn't let you put my phone inside Teddy pickup machine. And the guy's like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, John. Yes, yes, John. I put in my phone in this. machine. doesn't say no to John Fairs, you. Yeah. What? How, what's you the reaction? Have. <laughs> what's the reaction been? Because I seen a video the other day with you, with all your guys. That yeah, you train yeah. with and you train behind you with a big sword and because you want to get on the UFC Glasgow card. So yeah. what's the reaction being like? 
I mean, it's all great. It's all been positive. I mean, so sort, sort of people want to see me on there because I think really people do generally want to see me do well. Um, I do, as I said, it's quite tongue in cheek because I know the Glasgow cards like full and whatever. But having such a prestigious show at UFC in in the UK, as you said earlier, it doesn't stop me making as much noise about it as possible, especially when you know like Jack and Brett are on there. I I get just gonna scream and kick off and do loads of silly things and and tell people something. You know, if you you keep your powder dry. One of the guys, Charlie Woods, or if I was born might get injured, you're not gonna take the fight with you. But yeah, I mean, you know, you said you were your old man and just like come and say, oh, your brother doesn't turn up, come work. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, this, this this one fight, this guy four and two, another guy is three and two. I mean, I got more wins than the guy fight. <laughs> but, <laughs> but touching touching on that, you've got Brett, who was mm. world champion, Jack, and John in in different organisations. We'll touch on after what could possibly come from that, but do you think that's what you might be missing? I mean, it seems to be the route, doesn't it? Um, Cage Warriors title, and then UFC, but um, whatever comes first, I've been mean, sort of stonewalled by them both moment. Right, we'll, we'll talk, well, well, we'll go to that after the break. We're just gonna go to another break. That's the work out on the break. Yeah, so. <laughs> We'll go to the break, work out the champion's name on Cage Warriors and we'll get back to it. Welcome back to part four guys, and uh, just back when we left off. So, in the Super UFC, it looks like we, I can't fucking really do it because I'm thinking about what moves at all. It's what's on in my head. Oh, right. Come on. Amamuso. <laughs> so, the current Cage Warriors title holder is a guy called Carl Amamuso. 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 The magician. Um, now, the latest trick he's pulled out is absolutely stonewalling me. I mean, I made plenty of plays at him online. Only nice things like I like his photos and you know comment stuff. And when he's fighting for the title, I was photoshopping myself in into like pictures of me looking at the balcony. You know, just just generally being a tool, I think really. And um, yeah, he's uh, he's blocked me and so he's defend he's his not defending his belt. No, it doesn't look like it. But I mean, I've got to defend it at some point. I mean, as as it. But, uh, the thing is, there's no one talking about him, well, apart from me. Yeah, I'm not so. But, uh, Are you next in line, okay, George? Yeah, that too? yeah right? I mean... Gotta be next in line, surely. Yeah, next in line. I mean, there's no other well, the weight that's really in my calibre ready to fight him, and I think he's just waiting for a call-up. But if you wait, you know, people forget you. You know, that's why, that's why I keep, I've been keeping busy. I mean, a fighter who's not fighting is... No one, is it? He's not a fighter. Just a, some training in the gym, Mike. So do you think he, he doesn't want to take a fight with you, or or is he just hoping that he gets the ball from the UFC because he's a champion? I don't see why he'd duck me. Mm. I don't think he'd duck you, but I do think Dai's made a point that like now he's on the back of a cage where his title win and a good run of wins against good opponents. He, 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 he must be waiting for that UFC it's call. Boring. When you look at Marsh one, he won it and got called straight away. But it's the same with like, you look at all the King Warriors title holders who's gone on to UFC, Dan Hardy, Bisping, uh, Bigfoot Silver, all, all being great. Yeah, but Carl's really boring. Okay. French and, and German. you're a fun guy. French and German, he's got no banter. So much so, he's had to block me off all sorts of You know what I bet? In his native tongue, he's hilarious. <laughs> oh, you're French really quick, quick witted guy, you like. <laughs> yeah. Boom, boom, nice one, Carl. He's a hoot in Germany. Oh, God, Carl. Oh, God. No, I don't think so. I think he's just way too serious. Maybe. Lost Ooh, contra Reagan, though, if he's been you'd whispers or something. You're a risk. Like a call. You're, well, that's it. You're anyway. a flight risk. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is a risk. You know, any fight's a risk. So, you know, I mean, what do I do in, in the meantime? Yeah, you fun. can't just sit in the hole. No. Have you spoke to Cage Warriors? Have they told you you're next in line? Um, or? Yeah, yeah, you've said, you know, if, um, if 
decides to defend it, we look at September. So I just keep busy and doing comps and stuff until then. But I mean, you're expecting to fight in September for yeah, I mean, I so, yeah, of either vacant or against that. Yeah, hopefully. So. I mean, a month so. I'm not even how you pronounce it. You can be just sleep tonight. First day, I go right. <laughs> What's that yogurt I want then? <laughs> From my free. <laughs> Did I have a yogurt? <laughs> <laughs> I said it for you this time. Yeah, it's like a yogurt. <laughs> From my free. Yeah. It's like There's a cheese. kids' one, you know, the little ones. Yeah, yeah like oh, petty. Make this no, it's petty for loo. Carl, petty for loo. <laughs> What's the response to that one? <laughs> oh, petty. Oh, that's that's <laughs> going on Instagram or something now. <laughs> right, so we touched that. That's that's what you expect in next, basically. If, yeah, I mean, if the quarter doesn't come, yeah. you're going to be fighting for the title. Well, I just want to go I mean, I'm, as I said, I like, I, I like to travel and see the world. So, you know. Will he, will 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 he meet him if he doesn't defend in a certain time? I, I assume so, but I think he's got to get sort of year grace period or something like that. So you're going to take other fights in the meantime? I'm going to have to. You yeah. have to, yeah. I'm have to. I mean, got to keep busy. Dream scenario, yeah? Fighting for the title. Yeah. Ricky's introducing you. That dream scenario? Or cornering you. Nah, I get too nervous when I watch him fight. I, I, last time I introduced him, when really he fought Stahl and he lost, so... <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, Never must scrap that then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, nah, nah, it'd be cool if I... Me, me and Brett Freelander. Brett Freelander, Andy Freelander. <laughs> <laughs> Brett Freeman, Brett Hollywood. I don't know. <laughs> That's how close you are. I don't know. Fighting! Out of the blue corner. You oh, the nothing. BT Sports guy. In blue corner? I've stopped saying blue corner. Blue. And in the blue corner, I can say blue now. Without... You can say blue. I can say blue. <laughs> Not you know. And I could say please instead of police. <laughs> police, put your hands together for the blue corner. The blue corner. Uh, <laughs> while we, while we, we're on to it. You're so on camp. You. <laughs> so so camp. Says the one with braces. Me. <laughs> Although he's taken the piss out of the way you pronounce certain words. Where I used to pronounce certain words. You have been. Ultra successful in well, the last few months. A B C. Hi, mom. <laughs> <laughs> the last eighteen months has taken off for you, really, haven't it? Um, it's been good, man. I've been I've been busy. Uh, quit my job. So good for the Swansea shows now. Oh, I still do the Swansea shows. I did I did one in. Last week, I did one in the arse end of the Swansea Valleys, uh, what was it called? It's not Swansea. It was, like, it was like a valley. <laughs> it was a kickboxing <laughs> show. I ended up arguing with the referee because it, it was like, I ended up arguing with the referee over something. It was like, it's like, oh, the next two fights now. Uh, is, is it, a, is it a, a, a box match or a demo? I was like, well, it's not a fight of this, you know, because it was like two guys scrapping and uh, it was a fight. He just took, you know, but they weren't like legitimate, was it? You know what I mean? It was choreographed. Two, two guys no, fighting. No, oh, two, two guys fighting is a fight. Yeah, it was fight, but you know, it was like it was like me versus die kind of fight, not like you versus. So are you saying that's, 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 that's a sound? That's a sound. I know. What's Wait, that? Are you trying to say People your two pain. fights in the cage aren't legitimate? Though? No, it's in a ring. Anyway, yeah. So uh, that, you, are, you are just saying that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I am. So you say, yeah. So you, but anyway, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Last, last Vegas, this July last year, I went to Vegas to do the IMAF World. Ricky, right, used to call that. And I used to wind him up. <laughs> but what? I used to nick his seat. Oh, <laughs> yeah! He's like that with the, with the water bottle, squirting scra- him in the crotch. Right, you think? This is wind him up. And put, I'll put on a show in Bridgend. Uh, <laughs> and then, like, I did all the matchmaking for it. Uh, right, he pulled up, didn't he? <laughs> Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, well done. <laughs> Adam Avo. Yeah, Adam Avo. Yeah. I've got more names tonight. Yeah, it's his sister. I was going to go There's down always people's sisters, isn't it? You've got loads of them, though. Not my sister. Oh, oh you're my sister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are your sisters? You're all about seven. Exactly. You're only all about someone else's sister just now. 
Uh, yeah, but anyway, right? <laughs> what was that? So, like, my uh, tuxedo, I couldn't find it, like, ten minutes before the start of the show. I, don't go red, Rick. Don't I can't go red. find my tuxedo. <laughs> <laughs> and I could just see Lewis laughing at me when I was trying to find it. What did you have on? Just shorts and t-shirt. Oh, right. I found it, and he told me where it was. He hid it underneath. The, you know when you cover up a pool table with, like, a piece of wood? <laughs> yes. Just under there, like, and I got changed really quick. But yeah, it was whinging, or oh, Ricky's really upset. Oh, they're really emotional, crying and stuff. It hurt my feelings, man. I thought we were I friends. Couldn't there. stop laughing. But then, it, it, yeah, as you said, when he's cornering and I, he's just, and I'm MC and he's just squirting in a crotch and uh, just talking away, oh, like he peed himself, like in school. <laughs> like in school. Glad I never had the same school as you. What? Because you would have bullied me. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I would have been bullied by a guy three years younger than me. <laughs> it would have be been embarrassing. Yeah, I got bullied in school. I could tell. Yeah. <laughs> oh, same here, mate. When he says, "Oh, Rick," because because of the way we are, like we both like talky, chatty, eccentric bastards. And I'm cool. I try to be. Yeah. My best, you know. Wayne always says, "Oh, you two, I've been bullied at school. Like daddy issues." We're like both. Go back. Eight Wait, last eight months. Me. Said it to me about you. Hey, Wayne. <laughs> <Let's just laughs> <try. Hang on. coughs> Last 18 months, apart from the, the shit Swansea Valley shows. There wasn't any fights on. Yeah, but. Only two guys scrapping. Good kickboxing fights. Only two guys scrapping. No, no. You've been <laughs> Vegas, like you've mentioned. Uh, Prague. Prague. Bulgaria. Bulgaria twice. Um, so it's, take, it's taking off. Um, obviously, you've been on UFC Fight Pass, Cage Warriors. Uh, Eurosport Live. Yeah. So, you've been in everyone's living room, basically. <laughs> well. <laughs> Fucking hell, I don't mean to put like that. And their bedrooms. <laughs> but it's taken, it's really out of you, You're it, well, 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 I'm working enough to quit my job and go self employed. Um, it's, it's, I'm at the same stage as Lewis is at the moment, with his fighting, just on the cusp of doing something good. You know, he's just about on the cusp of being the cage warrior champion or getting into UFC I'm just on the cusp of getting onto a Michael Buffer no not that big <laughs> but like a big enough show where I can you spend some time with Bruce Buffer isn't it? yeah me and Bruce are good mates that's a, a well I know it quite famous clip but you yeah. know full 360 you said it's online for Buffer. Yeah. no I'm not talking about that one I didn't see the other one sorry go, go. cut this out <laughs> no secrets here, lads, come on. Oh, no, Bruce, the other. Spit roast. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm talking about something else, actually. Drop me right in it out. Extreme shit. Extreme shit. You drop yourself in it. Because <laughs> uh, clearly it was a joke. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Some on, things you on, can't forget. Onwards. Yeah, um, like. Carry on. You, you go spit right roasted. Go spit roasted. What's next? Yeah, I was what's, in the middle. What's, <laughs> what's next for you? Well, I'm just Oop. like in next week. I'm doing a quite big show in Manchester uh, for a promoter called James Linderman. It's going to be live on Uni, Uni Lad, and I'm hoping that will get me the right sort of exposure. Like the right people will uh, see it that I can get onto the bigger shows uh, in pro boxing. Um, on them, like I did. Um, like the Bama Wayans the other day, and I'm, I'm not saying like Bama ever gonna use me, but if the MC was busy, you know, I could do a couple fill in for him and stuff. I'm just same yeah, as though we're on the cusp of yeah, well, doing some as well for like yeah, yeah. workouts. And I've done a few workouts. I did a, a show on match on Fight Pass, uh, um, in the York Hall. It went on Sky, but that was that was a pretty good show. And they, they they got a show coming up in um, Cardiff, a Next Generation show, and hopefully it's small enough. Show that they can give me a give me a shot on, and the main event will be on Sky, hopefully, and I'm gonna be knocking on Eddie Hearn's door for that. He's probably blocked me on the got my email by now, but. But like you say, you're on the cusp. You're on the cusp. Um, any shout outs before we before we wrap this up? Uh, <laughs> bet. Sorry, 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 sorry bet. Just just to the parents bad. then, yeah. That's his mind, that's his mind. <laughs> uh, it's just been brilliant. Um, 
appreciate you coming all the way yeah, down. Thank you for having us, man. It's been awesome. It's been brilliant. So. <laughs> That's episode 10 of Turn the Lights Out. Cheers.